This is after 32 battles, starting in September, our final battle. You guys ready for the final battle? This one goes for three rounds. First round, five lines each. Second round, 30 seconds each. And final one, five lines again, if we have to go to it. Judges, this time it is different. Judges decide who wins, okay? So you guys have to make some noise and pull the one you like, okay? You guys ready? Are you guys ready? <laughs> Judges, who do you think is going to do better? Kirstie Carl or Jack Jones? Mom, Dad, don't make me choose again. <laughs> Because Jack scares me, he's got a bit of an American psycho vibe. Yeah, I'll go Kirsty because Jack looks like a high school shooter. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise and who thinks he's going to do better? Make some noise for Jack Jones! Make some noise for Kirsty Carr! Do you want to go first or off the paper? You go first? Alright, Kirsty Carr's going to start off. You guys ready? I was surprised to find out that we have something in common. We both have chronic inflammatory conditions. I have endometriosis, and Jack is one massive cunt. <laughs> Kirsty's 36 and childless. We'd like to thank her for taking the night off, doing IVF to be here. <laughs> It's going to be just like IVF. A lot of failed attempts, followed by a devastating loss. I'd say you wipe that smug look off your face, but that's just your face. Uh, Jack had a, a difficult childhood. Uh, his parents got divorced, uh, and I, it is what you're thinking. He was the reason. <laughs> the, the custody battle was over who didn't want him. <laughs> and uh, in the end, uh, his mother lost and had to keep him because the court overruled throwing him in the river. <laughs> Kirsty's wanted to be a comedian since she was eight years old. And 28 years later, she's still trying to achieve that goal. But Kirsty looks like a missing child nobody looks for. Maddie, but no cans. I might have small tits, but that means they'll never sag, unlike your asshole. where he can't grow pubic hair on his body and instead he grows it on his head. <laughs> and then by choice, styles it like a 50 year old lesbian. <laughs> you know anything about Kirsty, you know she's a self-developer. She's done yoga, ayahuasca, trauma release, shaking exercises. But she had to stop the shaking exercises after that baby died. It's okay, I prefer the boost to the laughs. It's like... looks like a bird because she's got a beak and crow's feet. Me 
hands, I can smell the shit that's coming out of your mouth. Uh, <laughs> uh, so Jack is both a soccer player and a referee, which is a great reminder that we should never try to be more than one thing at once. <laughs> Is he a good referee at least? No. He's been with his girlfriend for five years and still can't tell when she's faking it. <laughs> Jess is very cultured. She's been to 67 different countries. She knows how to say wrong hole in five different languages. <laughs> This is a true story. When Kirsty was living in Germany and tried to leave, she only got deported back to Germany. Because when they took one look at that big nose and emaciated figure, they assumed she'd escape from Auschwitz. <laughs> This is going to come... Uh, so, uh, uh, Jack looks like he builds model trains. <laughs> and then directs them all to Auschwitz. <laughs> Kirsty got engaged a few months ago. Can we have a round of applause for Kirsty, ladies and gentlemen? and have a moment of silence for her fiancé. <laughs> well, Kirsty is very excited to be engaged and finally go from practice girlfriend to participation trophy wife. <laughs> but I'm very pleased for Kirsty. She had a terrible breakup in her 30s. Her parents just couldn't do it anymore. <laughs> Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Carr, wherever you are. Alright, give it up, please, Stuart! Alright, we'll start with the audience. Audience, who do you think did a bit in that first round? Make some noise for Jack Jones! Make some noise for Kirsty Carr! Judges, who gets the first point? I, I would award this very, very closely towards Jack uh, because I'm with the patriarchy! Yeah! That's a popular opinion, man! Yeah! What's good? I, I'm confused because your comebacks were better, but your setups were fucking brutal. And so it feels like it's even Stevens here. And I don't like you, Jack. So. <laughs> So my inclination is to want to give it to you, but I don't know, like, you're, you you treat me out, Jack. Uh, uh, excuse me, a bunch of white guys chanting his name is not going to sway me in here, you fucking idiots. Uh, I'm, I'm voting for sudden death. Uh, Kirsty did say that Jack was a big cunt, but he's fucking funny. <laughs> Jack. All right, so the judges have gone for Jack. Jack gets the first point. Give him a big round of applause. All right, second round, 30 seconds. I'll be doing the time from back. Jack, you got to go first. You guys ready for the second battle? All right, let's go. Uh, God gave Kirsty the endometriosis. Now she has issues having children. God also gave Kirsty no tits. <laughs> Just so that he could grease her, right? <laughs> Kirsty was telling me she had surgery to have her endometrial tissue removed and she said, do you want to hear more about it? And I said, yeah, sure, you know, like, give me a Time's off, give it up, alright, give it up for Jack! <laughs> alright, Kirsty, go! Hey, Jack Jones is such a boring person, I didn't have a lot to go by, so here's a list of things that he looks like. 
a sore mannequin complete with fake plastic mound in place of genitals. Gumby, if Gumby was a white supremacist. The 12 year old who thinks he's smarter than a teacher. A teacher on the episode of Child Porn Stars. Where are they now? You meant to swallow it, not just let it lay on your face. Alright, audience, you pick, and then we go to the judges, they decide. Next to go is Nick Kirsty Kelly did it better. Next to go is Nick Jeff Jones did it better. Alright, audience, Nick Jones, Kirsty, judges, who do you think did it better in that round? Well, I mean, Jackie just rehashed an old thing. It's Kirsty, I think, introduced some new horrendous material. So, I'm going to go for Kirsty this time. Yes, I will go for Kirsty this time too. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going for Kirsty. Kirsty won. Jack won. Final round. Five more lines. Okay, who wants to go first? It's almost like we Jack will go this. first. All right. You guys ready? This is the final one. There's no sudden death after this, okay? You guys ready? They hired her because they assumed she had a double mastectomy. <laughs> Kirsty has endometriosis, but look on the bright side. You know, at least you didn't need the morning after pill after those one night stands. I might have endometriosis, but it's less painful than listening to you. <laughs> the day so that the word premeditated can't get thrown around a courtroom. <laughs> okay. Look at those blank dead eyes. He definitely keeps body parts in a fridge. He makes Jeffrey Dahmer look like Mother Teresa. Gersty car, more like Gersty clown car. Five guys will fit inside her at once. Kirsty's pussy's like Mars. Men have been exploring it for years, but there's still no sign of life. Except maybe some bacteria. I mean, a whore will fuck anyone. A slut will fuck anyone but you. Uh, so, Jack went to an all-boys school which uh, had him well prepared by the time he had his first colonoscopy. <laughs> That's how he found out he had bowel disease. He kept uncontrollably shitting on other guys' dicks. <laughs> Kirsty's very proud of her butt. Can we have a round of applause for Kirsty's butt, ladies and gentlemen? Let's do that, it's Kirsty's parts like her ability to have kids, it doesn't exist. Uh, Kirsty looks like my older sister, which sucks. Because there goes my incest fetish. <laughs> version of celery. <laughs> Jack works in the legal department for an insurance company, proving that he doesn't just look like an arrogant douchebag. <laughs> because he's smart and skinny, the school grades were just like her tits. Straight A's. <laughs> if you were naked on TV, they wouldn't have to blow your chest. Very talented. 
talented aerial gymnast. Her thighs are so strong that Jack believes his penis is bigger than a baby's finger. <laughs> and she's so flexible that he can fold her up and put it back in the box he bought her in. Final line. A person is very fit, she exercises a lot. Her daily cardio is the walk of shame. <laughs> Kirsty was on a dating show during COVID called Dating in Quarantine. Uh, but it was just like a normal date for Kirsty because afterwards the guy had to get tested. <laughs> you look like a 18th century 18th century slave owner statue. <laughs> similar line to, uh, to the whole STI debacle. Uh, you know, Jack's not bad looking, you know? He's the type of guy you'd want to wear a condom with. <laughs> but even so, nothing can protect you from his genital ward of a personality. <laughs> Jack. Um, <laughs> and many of the lines were good. I feel like, you know, sometimes you were saying Kirsty couldn't get a root, sometimes it was a clown car, fourth roots. So, for thematic inconsistency, <laughs> I'm awarding this to Kirsty. Yeah, spring riding Jack, but um, it just kept defaulting to Kirsty's tits, and, you know, she kind of dismantled every pup from personality to psychopathy to just what a fucking rot you actually are. Uh, Kirsty! 